is the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. If white supremacy is such a big problem, then why are black supremacists doing so much crime? Black supremacy is the idea that you can break any law, steal whatever you want, and act like because you're black, you're supposed to do that. Now, we all know great black people, amazing black people, teachers who are black who want to help people, uh, politicians, Ben Carson, doctors. But for some reason, black criminals try to get all the other blacks to say, look, they're arresting me. That's what they think of all of us. So I ask you, smart, intelligent, hardworking black people, don't associate with them. Say, nah, that's all you, mofa, because you at TJ Maxx all by yourself. <laughs> And a good Samaritan trying to stop two alleged thieves at a TJ Maxx in Mira Loma. Dramatic video captured by a customer showing the takedown at the location on Lemonite Avenue. At least two women wearing black hoodies seen trying to walk out with arms full of purses. But when the second one tried to leave, a man jumped in to stop her, tackling her, eventually knocking her to the ground. Let me go. Let go. Let go. Let me go. What the Let me go. After a brief struggle, the alleged thief was able to get away. It's unclear what merchandise actually was taken. So far, no arrests have been made. When your government does not point out a real problem and help, when the police do not show up, when TJ Maxx decides to stand down, Walgreens shuts down, Walmart shuts down, citizens are going to take matters into their own hands. It's going to become FAFO, F around and find out university. And here we had a gentleman. He happened to be white, but he didn't do anything because he was white. He wants TJ Maxx to stay in his community so he can get great polo shirts and workout pants at a reasonable price and home goods. So if blacks keep using, and I'm talking about Black Lives Matter blacks, people who think they're the victim while they cause all the crime. If Black Lives Matters, BLMers, keep coming and stealing, TJ Maxx shuts down, ruins this guy's life, police aren't helping. So now we see men women and children starting to fight back, taking the law into their own hands and saying enough is enough. And you know what? They say a man should never hit a woman. That man just grabbed the woman to hold her saying, put these purses down. My wife wanted to buy one of those at a reasonable price. If you take 10 every time you come in and shoplift, now what? Now the price goes up for my wife's purse and we suffer as a community. And a lot of BLMers go, well, that's why they got insurance. Insurance is not meant to be used. Insurance goes up the more BLMers come to a town near you. So we all know that uh, if these stores close, then BLMers have to start shoplifting online. It gets real tricky. So watch the gentleman. He actually is just restraining her. Then she thinks she can punch a 109, what is that, 220 pound man? And he just grabs that weave. And you know, she did a real good job securing that weave, but that was her downfall because she couldn't get out from it. Now the media calls them two women in black hoodies. No, we have the president who's able to say, white supremacy. White supremacy is the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland. Well, if the highest ranking member in office can say that, then the news should be allowed to say, two black women in black hoodies were stealing yet again. Take a look one more time. At least two women wearing black hoodies seen trying to walk out with arms full of purses. Let me go. An alleged robbery, allegedly, yeah. You come in with a hoodie and a mask. This is no more Covifi going on and you're allegedly stealing the purses. Yeah, no, they put them all on layaway and they paid cash. Yeah, they paid in uh, crypto when they arrived. I don't think so. When we come back a whole lot more, be careful when you're at TJ, T-T-T-T-T-T-J Smacks.